The uh, Dragon will, will be deployed about 11 minutes. Actually, I have a slide on that one, too, about the timeline. Maybe I can do that. Um, well, I talked about the, the launch time already, 2.49. Um, it's our first launch from LC39A. And uh, we do, we do um, attempt to recover the first stage on the drone ship. Next one, please. All right. So um, this is the timeline of the launch itself. We start out basically with a, a call on uh, 45 minutes before launch. Um, the first thing we do is we arm the launch escape system. And, um, and that is to, to keep Dragon and later the crew safe um, actually before there's propellant on board and the entire time while we're actually loading it. It's very important. Um, there's also nobody on the launch pad um, anymore um, at that time. At uh, 45 minutes before launch, we start loading RP-1 on both first and second stage. Um, and uh, we, we then uh, start loading locks on the first stage right around the same time, I think, actually. Um, the second stage always amazes me because we start loading at uh, T minus 16 minutes and it's, it is uh, relatively fast, but you got to keep in mind we, we actually empty the tank even faster in a couple of minutes when we run it through the engine. So it's actually not that, uh, that fast in perspective. Um, uh, well, we begin chilling all the engines prior to launch at about seven minutes before that. Uh, we transition Dragon into internal power five minutes. Uh, a minute before launch, we do uh, the the vehicle goes into a uh, computer controlled mode, and uh, we begin pressurizing the the tanks on the Falcon 9. Um, and then at 45 seconds, we have the LD, the launch director, confirm that we are still good to go with the range at NASA. Um, and then at T minus three seconds, we start um, spinning up the engines, and uh, and then at T T T zero is liftoff. Uh, next one, please. In flight itself, it's uh, somewhat similar to other launches, um, prim but uh, I still want to repeat a little bit what we do. Around a minute into flight, you have max Q. Um, that's basically the, the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle sees. Um, two and a half minutes into flight, we have um, cutoff, main engine cutoff on the, on the first stage, followed by stage separation, engine start, um, and then the second stage is on its way while the first stage actually performs an entry burn uh, around seven minutes after launch. Um, the second stage engine cutoff is uh, roughly nine minutes, I think. Yes, nine minutes. Um, and actually before we land um, the first stage, um, stage itself lands ha half the, uh, nine and a half minutes after, after T0, um, actually close to 10. And then Dragon, as I mentioned, separates uh, 11 minutes after after launch and and goes on its journey on its own. Dragon will perform um, three burns uh, and approach the station within uh, uh, roughly 30 hours. We expect docking to happen on um, early let's see Saturday Sunday morning. Then at 6 a.m. Roughly that's roughly the time frame. I know you want to talk about that a little bit more. <laughs> So, um, the uh, Dragon will, on, will be on station for a couple of days. Um, we, we are planning to uh, to depart the station at uh, on March eight, um, and then it will perform uh, a couple orbits, about five hours, and then perform an entry burn, uh, re-entry burn rather, and uh, and land actually in the Atl Atlantic. Uh, that is different from Dragon one, which. Uh, always landed in the Pacific. Um, takes about 35, 40 minutes after the burn to get through the atmosphere, deploy the, um, the two drogues and the four um, main chutes, and then land safely in the water and get picked up by a, uh, a boat on standby in the area. And that obviously is something that we have to practice uh, in preparation for, for actually crew flight, make sure that we are fast uh, on, the, on the right spot, um, that we have all the uh, you know, potential medical attention um, and, and at the right time. And, uh, and so that's going to be exciting for us to get everything. This is a, a very important training for us to, to get this right for um, the crew flight coming up next.